then uh, son Chris, who held the reins in Canada two years ago. And the available substitutes for Michelle French and Roberto Medina. Ali Watt for the USA, who's uh, one of their goal scorers here so far. Divided by a border nearly 2,000 miles long, but united by a common ambition for a place in the last four of this FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Papua New Guinea 2016. An interesting twist of fate that the USA and Mexico are thrown together here in the quarterfinals. Mallory Pugh, USA captain. And on the line, a semi-final against Korea DPR back here next Tuesday. Well, Paulino Solis has uh, started on the left side of Mexico's defence here. Here she is, one of the two changes for Roberto Medina today. Stephanie Barrera has chosen in goal. Maria Sanchez, who's been a real live wire for Mexico in the three group games they've played, wins against Korea Republic and Venezuela. It's uh, too strong for Jacqueline Crowther. Well, there's Sabrina Flores and uh, her twin sister from New Jersey is Monica, both born on the 31st of January 1996. Monica there, who was part of the USA youth program, but uh, chose then to play for Mexico. I think of all the uh, siblings who've played against each other in the past. I can't recall any sisters doing so in opposing teams. I think of the brothers, Jerome and Kevin prince Porting, who played against each other at the FIFA World Cup in South Africa in 2010. One for Germany, one for Ghana. In the summer, at uh, the European Championships, Granite Talent Chaka, they were in direct opposition. Then Albania played Switzerland. Another nice uh, connection. Just looking back, Shania Luko, who played men's international football for Nigeria. His sister, Eni, who's played for uh, England at the FIFA Women's World Cup. But this, uh, something of a first here today. Mexico starting confidently here. Kaylee Real alongside Taylor Otto, the two USA centre backs. And this a very consistent defence has given them the platform to build on. Ball's just out of play here. for Paulina Solis. Closed down smartly by Mallory Pugh, who's uh, really started to get into her stride as this uh, tournament has progressed. Otto, Mexico pressing uh, tightly here on the USA early on. Gonzalez, Nancy Antonio, the two central midfielders for Roberto Medina's team. Alina Solis to Maria Sanchez. No relation to Ashley in the US team. Solis. Working hard to win uh, Mexico the first corner of the contest.
Well, an early test here for Casey Murphy in the USA goal. As tall a goalkeeper as the US have ever had at a Women's World Cup. Antonio among those lurking here. Say so well organised defensively. You really wouldn't uh, expect or hope to be uh, beaten from a set piece routine here. It's Belen Cruz, Maria Sanchez. Well, that's a good shape on that cross. Very good cross indeed. And with uh, Palacios and Crowther waiting in the centre there for Mexico. So uh, no wonder that uh, they will thrive on service like that. Palacios steering it wide. Jana Palacios, who uh, got those uh, two goals against Venezuela to make her uh, Mexico's top scorer so far. Yeah. Gonzalez. Supporting uh, here with Palacios and Maria Sanchez, just exchanging passes near side. <laughs> when these two did meet in CONCACAF, Qualifying. It was the very first match for them in the qualifying group. It was a 2 2 draw. It's worth mentioning that the USA actually had gone uh, 2 0 up at one point in that game before Mexico stormed back. from uh, Mallory Pugh, second from Emily Fox, giving the US that 2-0 uh, lead, but Blanca Solis and Kiana Palacios goal scorers for uh, Mexico. There's Michelle French just tucked in behind there. To Bernal. Ogle to real. Played in uh, Canada in the last edition of the tournament a couple of years ago. That's a bit uh, loose from Taylor Otto. She's given it straight to Maria Sanchez. Crowther is in the middle. And Cruz is far side. But Maria Sanchez with a stinger. Very good save by Murphy. All stemming from a USA mistake. Taylor Otto taken out of it. All too easily there, a swerving, dipping shot. Very well hit by Maria Sanchez. Keeper's ball, nice clear shout from Casey Murphy. Did very well there. and is on the bench for them as well today. Another huge goalkeeper in the American ranks coming up through. You think about all the players who've gone on from this level to represent the senior team. I'm just checking back to the squad that uh, won the Senior Women's World Cup last year. Nine of that squad had previously won at under-20 level. 
Looks of uh, Heather O'Reilly from 2002. Sydney LaRue, Alex Morgan, 2008. Julie Johnston, Morgan Bryan, 2012. Monica Flores there. Just happy to uh, let that one run behind. Keanu Palacios and uh, Jacqueline Crowther, the uh, two strikers here for Mexico. Palacios with Irvin in the United States and uh, Jacqueline Crowther with uh, Baylor University. There's the shot from Sanchez again. Chase on here. Sanchez. Back now with Ogle to Maddie Elliston. Wide for Pew. Oh, Pew's done very well indeed, but it's comfortably gathered in by Stephanie Barreras. Getting her first taste of the action here in Papua New Guinea this year. Lori Alvarado's played uh, every minute of the group stages. Antonio, Mexico's captain. For Helen Cruz. Maria Sanchez and uh, Helen Cruz who will swap down the uh, flanks today. Here's the run by Mallory Pugh. You can see the players just queuing up at the back post here. Crowther. We've seen how strong Asia is this year, represented by Korea, DPR, and Japan already through to the semi finals here in Papua New Guinea. Good performances from them to put out Spain and Brazil yesterday in the first of the two quarterfinals here. That's Pew to Ogle. To Fox. Jean going in the supporting role around the outside. Real. Now Ogle. Katie Cousins was a little bit doubtful this morning, hence the inclusion of Sabrina Flores, who has been part of the USA setup for a long time now. She actually began with the under-14 team back in 2010. There she is. And, uh, with Fox on the outside, they've got Scarpa and Sanchez playing as the two main central strikers. The two sisters competing against each other there, Sabrina and Monica. their parents feel today. Scarpa flicking the ball up against uh, Monica Flores. Nothing doing from uh, the referee there quite rightly. And whilst this is very familiar territory for the USA, Uncharted for Mexico potentially. They have been to the quarterfinal stages twice before, losing on both occasions. Hoping to uh, set a new best here in Papua New Guinea this year. Pew and Elliston. Ogle. And Maria Sanchez into Nancy Antonio. 
Crowther. Monica Flores. There's Cruz on the outside. Gonzalez. For Benel. Paulina Solis. Antonio. Just drifting it over Fox there and finding Cruz, who resists the first of the USA's tackles. Played in towards Crowther. Sanchez. And again, really all down to good Mexico pressing. Roto didn't want to take uh, any chances at all there. So Paulina Solis with the throw for Mexico. So he's ball. And Maria Sanchez unable to control it. No relation to Ashley Sanchez. Crowther. Oh, did wonderfully well to hook that back into the mix. Decent try. With Eva Gonzalez. Certainly there to be hit. Sanchez already test Casey Murphy early on here. Mexico with four shots, the USA yet to register. That one from Maria Sanchez, the only one on target so far. Solis using Maria Sanchez as a decoy. Here's Palacios. Monica Flores. Great ball in as well. Crowther try to flick it. And with the sheer number of players born in the USA, playing in the USA in this Mexico squad. Gives you some idea of the way that the uh, game in Mexico has been transformed in recent years. Free coming to have words with uh, Casey Murphy here. I was talking about the legacy of the Cuellar family. Leo Cuellar, who used to be in charge of the uh, senior Mexico women's team, but his son. Chris took uh, charge of the under-20s in Canada two years ago. Someone who grew up in Coronado in California, and that's part of the connection between Mexico and their uh, wish to recruit good players from the USA who might get better opportunities a little further south. Reminds me a little bit of the... Uh, senior men's game with the Republic of Ireland when Jack Charlton was the manager and he was uh, constantly looking around for anybody with Republic of Ireland heritage, grandparents, cousins twice removed if necessary to try and uh, find good quality players that he could recruit to the international fold. French has even acknowledged how the Mexico youth program has developed in recent years. Now here's Mallory Pugh for the United States. Picked up here by Rebecca Bernal to Maria Sanchez. Paulina Solis. Stephanie Barreras here, who plays in Eastern Florida. Sent by Mexico's captain, Nancy Antonio. 
Roberto Medina there, who's actually assistant to uh, Chris Cuellar in Canada a couple of years ago. Ball. Jesse Scarpa, who does uh, certainly give the USA a more physical presence in those attacking areas. Ashley Sanchez working around it, maybe quicker, more nimble. But Scarpa, who's a very strong player, good at holding the ball up. Sanchez there being guarded by Palacios. Mallory Pugh will swing it over. Not terribly effectively, mind you. Taylor Otto's taken quite a few uh, set pieces for the United States from that sort of position so far in the tournament. There's Real and by Flores towards Sanchez. Crowther. And a very well timed tackle to boot from Kaylee Real. Timed it beautifully. Great ball to uh, test out that uh, USA back line. And Real judged it to perfection. Mexico putting one player by the goalkeeper here. And again, you probably heard the shout of uh, keeper with the uh, crowd lurking. Now they're getting her head firmly to it, but. Uh, Never with the ability all the time to twist and turn and head it goalwards. And Sanchez caught there by Ogle. All time tackle again from the USA. Now Ashley Sanchez. Oh, great little bypass of Bernal. Flores waiting in the middle. Trying to tee it up perhaps for a colleague. And in fact, they're all trying to. Uh, get the assist for the moment that's uh, prompted the supporters of the USA to uh, become a bit more vocal considerable interest in this game on uh, both sides of the, the border that divides the countries. That's Nancy Antonio, mistake from her. Straight to Fox. Jean on the outside here for the USA. Driving to the goal line, but we need someone in the middle who can convert it here. Ashley Sanchez arriving. Ogle beaten to it by Palacios, and now Crowther. who settle back with Maria Sanchez left and Cruz right. So more of Mallory Pugh down the USA left in the last of their group matches against Ghana. What a struggle that was for them. We had one of the most extraordinary goals we've had of the tournament so far. Michelle French's team. And a goal down to a Casey Murphy own goal. Nothing she could do about it. Wonderful long range effort from Ghana's Abambila. Uh, 
and Sabrina Flores upended in the penalty area. It's the USA's throw here. Ashley Sanchez with the through ball. Again, Eva Gonzalez getting the ball. quarters Roberto Medina's team are considered the uh, underdogs here purely because of the USA's wonderful track record don't get a bit of the ball there I think uh, it would have been uh, incredibly harsh to give any other decision Cruz Antonio. You do feel that the uh, wide players in the two respective squads are going to be key today. Pugh and Fox for the United States. Maria Sanchez and Cruz for Mexico. Here's an example of Scarpa just holding the ball up. She needs support though. Got the ability with Ashley Sanchez to make the runs in behind her. But she'll also need some of the uh, USA's midfielders to uh, support her. Monica Flores to Eva Gonzalez. With every opportunity seeking out Maria Sanchez. A rapier like pass cross field. And a free kick here. In an interesting area. Eva <laughs> Gonzalez, Maria Sanchez with the likes of Crowther, Palacios and indeed of Vanessa Flores to aim at. Maria Sanchez. Recovered here by Cruz. Back in towards Crowther. He can't quite reach it. Jacqueline Crowther spotted the chance to get in behind and she was first to react. Palacios with the ball in. Ogle to Sabrina Flores, tackled by Cruz. Eva Gonzalez to Monica Flores. Solis, tricky bounce, but Antonio did well. Had a spin on it, but she judged it beautifully. And here's Mexico's captain looking for Crowther once more. Who's in a battle there with Emily Fox? has been a, a bit of a struggle for uh, teams to qualify apart from Korea DPR in Germany who were authoritative and very impressive in winning three out of three Mexico who fell foul of the other three-time champions in the group stages is Palacios now does 
like to uh, drop a little bit deeper than Jacqueline Crowther. And here, Ellie Jean allowed her, in fact, also uh, Ogle allowed her room to take the shot. a roster, Mallory Pugh, although she's actually one of the youngest in the starting 11, rather surprisingly. Here's the cooling break after half an hour, with the temperatures in the low to mid 30s here in Port Moresby in Papua New Guinea. And, uh, well, the cooling break, maybe uh, something that's unfamiliar in many parts of the world, but here it's uh, an absolute necessity to look after these very talented young players. The wet towels around the necks just to help uh, cool the players down. Well, Michelle French trying to get some uh, coaching through to her players there. Amazing how uh, cold water on a towel does the trick of helping you cool down. The two little reflections on what we've seen so far in the opening half an hour. USA yet to manage a shot on target so far. It's a Mexico who've made more of the early running here. Roberto Medina, their coach. So far, it's Mexico with 55% of the possession. Six shots, one on target. Michelle French was a bit frustrated with uh, some players who've uh, stayed with their colleges rather than come here. And indeed, when they met during the CONCACAF qualifying campaign, the tournament was actually held during the college season. It made uh, several players unavailable. We've uh, seen Valerie Pugh, who won the golden boot as the uh, top scorer. Here's the shot from Maria Sanchez. It's the only one we've had on target from either side so far. But, uh, just uh, taking out Taylor Rotto, a lovely change of direction and a swerving shot that Casey Murphy dealt with very admirably. Cooling break over. And the time that's been taken to be added at the end of the half here. Great charging down by Crowther. Defending from the front, quite literally. That's Bernal. Cruz. Oh, Vanessa Flores. a country famous for its flora and fauna and three floras out there today appropriately is uh, Elliston now too strong for Pew at the moment the USA not looking so fluid going forward there's been a bit of uh, tinkering to the front line at different stages Scarpa has been in and out, Fox too. Mallory Pugh, who's been a, a constant. Ellison. 
to Ogle. Mexico, although they press up here, USA won't do any damage as long as they're being pinned back. We've seen uh, several very strong teams here. Korea, DPR, Japan spring to mind with the quality of their pressing game. Now Scarpa taking on Vanessa Flores. Falls out. Falls out already. Oh, Vanessa Flores uh, doing well to uh, get herself between opponent and ball. Doesn't really show so much from that angle, but the assistant referee on the near side with the best view of all deciding that had crossed the line. Here's Alliston now. Kenny Real. Monica Flores finding Ballon Cruz with a lovely little uh, pirouette that uh, pleased the crowd here. Crowd the losing possession. Now Ashley Sanchez. Dynamic little player. Now Pugh, running it back. He's got uh, Scarper on the outside. Here she is. for Mexico it's a bit of a double-edged sword win in uh, the CONCACAF qualifying there are the likes of the USA and Canada especially when there are only two qualifying places at some events oh Ashley Sanchez charging down Barreras who was uh, rather playing the game of Russian roulette at the back there Goalkeeper nearly caught out and embarrassed. Easy enough, you would have thought, to deal with that back pass from Bernal. Pressing there from Crowther on Otto. As a result, uh, Mexico have gained significant territory here. Just talking about all the uh, connections between the two countries earlier in all six senior FIFA Women's World Cup qualifiers. Mexico just once winners, November 2010 in Cancun. But in 23 senior friendlies, Mexico have never won. The USA beating Mexico on 22 of those 23 occasions. One draw back in 2007. Weight of expectation. Very firmly on USA shoulders here. But it's Mexico who've been the more threatening in the first period. to Flores, to Vanessa Flores. It's the USA's turn to uh, play the pressing game. This time, no chances taken by Barreras, but uh, she has given the USA possession. and real. Ellie G. So 
through to Elliston. Now Scarpa. Just hesitated long enough for Paulina Solis to make the challenge. Scarpa's header. And Pugh cleverly just pulled away there because she knew it would drop down. pass that was uh, aimed for Sabrina Flores who finds Palacios and here's Paulina Solis those lime green boots USA trying to play their way back into this match. But, uh, every time they string a few passes together, they don't seem to really advance into the most dangerous area of all, and that's uh, something they've got to change if they're going to win this match. Sabrina Flores finding Emily Fox. And the piercing sunshine on the far side here in uh, Port Moresby. Of Papua New Guinea. Monica Flores forward. Straight at Jean. Palacios. Switch looking for Maria Sanchez. Uh, Michelle French looking to a follow on from Steve Swanson, who she replaced. Steve Swanson, whose team beat Germany the last time the USA won this title back in 2012. Maria Sanchez to corner of Alliston. Once again, Crowther going right by the goalkeeper here. Palacios, Benel and Vanessa Flores coming in from a deep area. And Benel with the uh, looping header wide. hasn't really sparked into life just yet. We had uh, one terrific shot from Maria Sanchez earlier on in this first half. But uh, whether the weight of the occasion is getting to the players or whether maybe it's the heat. Maybe they're uh, just like uh, boxers sparring in a ring. But at the moment they're measuring up each other, trying to assess their strengths and weaknesses perhaps. Maria Sanchez has given it away. And uh, Ogle here finding Sabrina Flores via Fox to Jean and Murphy.
There's always a balance to be found between a, a team that wants to go out and win a match and a team that doesn't want to lose one. Here's Mallory Pugh. Ashley Sanchez just ahead. Molly Elliston has uh, come forward, but uh, Sabrina Flores unable to find it. Three added minutes then at the end of this first half. That's basically the uh, cooling break allowance. <laughs> Pew, Ashley Sanchez. Covered by Nancy Antonio. Elliston's throw. On for Scarpa. Corner for the USA. Their first of the match right at the end of this first half. This time, good swift, fluid movement from Scarpa. Back off Bernal via Scarpa, but the ball had crossed the line in the eyes of the officials. So Otto, Scarpa, and Fox. But again, the delivery is poor. The USA set pieces uh, have been well below the standard they would hope for. Elliston, Otto, I had a, a Mexican television journalist earlier refer to this as a CONCACAF Clasico, I'm not so sure it's a classic just yet. But the beauty of uh, the knockout stages is that no matter what happens over the 90 minutes, we will get an outcome one way or the other. Potential for extra time and even penalties here. And Cruz, who got caught here late by Fox. Neither side has really got a stranglehold of this match just yet. It has been a very cagey first 45 minutes. And not surprisingly, it's goalless. Casey Murphy with one very good stop to thwart Mexico with the only shot on target in the first half from Maria Sanchez. Palacios and Crowther have been uh, industrious in the attacking areas for Mexico. But the USA so far have really struggled to get their attacking game together we've uh, only managed one shot in the entire half and even that wasn't on target both sides needing to regroup at the break and lift their form for the second period and usa and mexico bidding for the right to face korea dpr in the semi-finals of the fifa under 20 women's world cup next tuesday half time the usa nil mexico nil
First half statistics then here at Sir John Guy Stadium in Port Moresby. And there you see seven shots from Mexico, one of which was on target. The USA with a pretty paltry one shot, and uh, even that wasn't on the mark for them. No bookings, no goals, but it has to be better in the second half, otherwise no one's going to manage to uh, prevent it reaching extra time. It's the USA nil, Mexico nil. 